blast off. <laughs> Uh, welcome back to another episode of No Regrets Podcast, episode number 56. If you haven't already noticed, it's your host, DW, and I got another host with me. You want to yeah, go ahead, brother? You know I couldn't wait, man. I'm back, man. The chosen one is back. The original one is back. I know y'all miss me, man. Shout out my man, Ja. He's looking for me, man. He's looking for you me remember in the Discord. Bro. I'm, of course, that's <laughs> my guy. You know what I'm saying? Really? I'm back, Ja came back for you once once i heard you was the chosen one i was like i'm coming i was on my way and i'm back you know what i'm saying but on my left you know what I'm saying? i can't go without you know what i'm saying introducing the one the only the oracle the one who gets it done the one who gets it started on my left mr dw we here we back with another episode man no regulars in the building let's do it man. yes sir if you haven't already follow the social down below follow us on tiktok at no regulars we're already at two hundred thousand on tiktok follow us on instagram at no regulars.podcast almost at 600 followers follow us on all podcasting platforms at No Regulars Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe down below. If you enjoy the channel, like, comment, send to a friend. And yeah, welcome to the No Regulars Podcast, home of the the weirdest and random shit we talk about. And we might get canceled one day. Nah, we ain't. We might get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Bash um, come on, Bash could get canceled. Yeah, nah, I ain't gonna lie, but he got my videos demonetized. The yeah, he I know. Was, <laughs> he was talking about that at the party. Other day. <laughs> he got, he got two. What, did you know what he said or anything or no? I, I never know on YouTube. It's always random because uh, there's like a whole. He's the only, only, only bash videos got the monetize. Right? Now there's a lot more. There's other ones. Right. Like it's weird. I don't know how YouTube works. Did you ever look at the the words that could and can't be said? I. It's a lot. It's a lot. Like it's a long list, and I don't be feeling like reading that shit. And as long as it don't like, cause like it's not too bad. Like I like what, how it usually works is it'll turn. So it's like a money symbol. Mm-hmm. So if it's I've yellow, seen, I've, I've seen it before. Yeah. So if it turns yellow, then you can't like make money. But like if you put like a request in it, mm-hmm. then they'll probably just like look through it to review it, and then they'll make it green, and that's when you can make money. But sometimes they don't turn back green. Yeah, cause I'm, <laughs> cause I'm like only bash videos. Cause that's the only person I heard. It was bash Zaki, <laughs> his single video. Uh, I think one of. Ish one of Chris's videos. I can't remember. It was one of the videos. But if y'all ain't know, bro, it was my birthday yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Happy birthday to the man. You know what I'm saying? Happy birthday to the Oracle. Ah man. man. Twenty three, bro. Dang. I know, right? So old, bro. <laughs> nah, twenty three is not old yet. It's not bro. old yet. I think okay. once you hit twenty five, that's when you start feeling that. Nah, I don't even say that. Nah, I say like <laughs> that's 20, what they, if you're twenty seven, you're old nigga now. Damn, like, I think you're old. Jay yeah. brother just turned twenty seven. Yeah, he's old nigga now. Like, damn, he nah, definitely he gonna watch this. His, yeah. you know, his brother same day as mine. Damn, you old nigga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> twenty like, twenty seven. It's not crazy. Cause thing is, if somebody died, right? Yeah. If somebody died at twenty seven, they gonna be like, oh my god, he's so young. He I died at so young. But let you just be on the street at twenty seven. Get nigga old, right? <laughs> you're too old to be in a club. You're too old. They're going to say you're too old for Oh, so that's shit. like when you're too... Like, that's the age where it's like, damn, you shouldn't be doing this yeah, shit. Yeah, they're, they're going to say you're too old for mad shit. But let somebody... Even in the NBA, you're a 27-year-old NBA player. They say, I, oh, he still has time. I know. Nah. Let you be 27. You should be in your prime NBA by now. That's what I'm saying. Nigga, they'll still let you go like, okay, he, he, he should be going into his prime by 28, 29. By thirty, you the best you could be. Yeah. Matter of fact, in the NBA, by thirty, you're old. Now. Yeah, no, thirty year old. <laughs> you probably got three, three years of prom in the NBA's eyes, bro. Oh my god, bro! But not nah, th- twenty, not nah, twenty. They've been telling me twenty five. That's when your body start to deteriorate. Like you start feeling. <laughs> not me. You know your fucking ankles nah, hurt. I ain't gonna lie, that should be hurt. Boy. Your ankles just be sore, bro. Right, out of nowhere. Like bro. I be feeling that my knee. Nah, my left knee is like shot. But that comes from from. Not playing as much as like he used to play basketball every day. Oh yeah, that every is true. Every single day. we used to go to Beer Temple all the time. Every bro. day, like we used to post it on the gram. Beer Temple at seven, or they could just put at seven. I know. Hey, why you pull up Beer Temple? <laughs> we used to put in the chat. In the beer chat, Temple at seven on the gram on Fista. Beer Temple at seven. All the guys pop out. I know Dude, for hours. For hours. We'd bro. be there from like what six to like till what time the thing turn off? Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. I remember uh, when because before you didn't come out to them, and I remember. That's when I brought all my cousins out and you came out. <laughs> and I used to kill everybody at Bear Temple. And he came out. And my cousin's like, there he go. There he go Michael Jordan. <laughs> he the stopper. <laughs> Is it because I had the ones on? Yeah, you had the you had the Jordans on. And then they just found that because you was on the opposite team of me and actually like giving work to my team. Like, I don't think I was. I, maybe I might have been guarding you. That's why I still had a little bit of legs on me. So I might have been guarding. They was like, nah, he the Michael Jordan. Because I used to call 
myself LeBron. <laughs> so, <laughs> I say I'm LeBron. So they're counting to that was you're Michael Jordan. They, so pull up. Who, who was there? It was G. It was G. It was G. To this day, there go Michael Jordan. <laughs> there go Michael Jordan. So, hey, bro. Shout out G, bro. I haven't seen that man in a minute. He's all right? Bro, he's good. He's chilling, bro. That's good. He goes, that's now he's now he going to see this part, and he's going to enjoy that. <laughs> that's G, tough. Bro. Oh, I told you about, yo, people, no regulars. We might have a street ball tournament. I was thinking about that the other but day. I've been saying that, John. Like, have a tournament, have a... I just a get together, just bring mad people out. Yeah, I think that'd be tough. Yeah. I have a little pop up shop food. Even so, even tell our, Eli Frost uh, to pull up. Even <laughs> our what's the name word right? Even our uh, our uh, field day. Oh yeah, no, that'd yeah, be fun. I think we could do that. Have our field day. I'll do that before the the street ball shit, but just do a field day. Field day. I feel if we do a field, I always have gonna play in it, but it's not it's too cold now. Yeah, but we'll do. It. Chris was drawing when I was trying to play in it. He's like, Nah, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. But then you know me, I'm procrastinated. So I know this I nigga... procrastinated all until like, oh, it's it's cold now. So, <laughs> we'll we do could, it we could, time. we not. At the same time, we could do it in a winter time, but in a gym because oh, there's like, still mad games we could play, yeah. like gym class shit. So, yeah, that's fine. We'll still do it. We'll figure it out. We'll see. Coming soon. No regulars field day might be coming soon. But um, you seen what was going on? You be I was watch. I was um. I want to talk about this. I was watching uh. The uh, the little boxing match it wasn't celebrity it was the athletes like you see Adrian Peterson get knocked the fuck yeah, out yeah I did see that I saw I saw the, I don't I don't be tuned into it but I, if I see it on Instagram I won't scroll past it like I'm gonna look at it like I didn't even know he was fighting because I knew well, Nick why? Young was... I don't understand why they're already rich I don't know. He's already millionaires what are you trying to prove now like now it's just who was he fighting again oh it was Le'Veon Bell Le'Veon Bell and he put him. <laughs> Put him. I think Le'Veon Bell was already boxing before. Like Le'Veon Bell been boxing. I know, and like yo, he punched him like square in the face. In the face, yeah. Like, like it wasn't in the gym. My thing is like, yo, you get knocked out, you get put down after talking tough to your kids for, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying for all that time now. Now they see their daddy get knocked out. Look at you now. Like, now, now you just looking. Dope. You feel me? Like, like I why? Know. Me, I get kids. I'm talking to my kids like, like I'm the. The best thing since <laughs> I don't even want to say it, the best thing. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't understand, bro. Like, like I don't like. There's no amount of money, especially Adrian Pearson. He got hella bread. He got hella bread, bro. Like, why are you doing that for? Unless like, like the, what charity? What charity yeah, is what worth cha- you getting knocked out in front of everybody? <laughs> and it was clean knocked out. It was like you didn't even know what you were doing at no, first. You bro. dropped everything. You hit him right in the nose, bro. No. Oh my god! And you see Nick Young like fall out the thing? Nah. Nick Young got hit. And yeah, he Nick got Young hit. was putting in work though. When I seen the, the highlights, like he was, like he was, <laughs> he was working. But I think he got hit and he flopped. Like he didn't want to get hit no more. Oh, like he was like, done. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> like he didn't want to get hit too many times. Like, for that most most of that fight, I think Nick Young. Who who that. was who was he fighting again? I don't even know the dude. It was like some random dude. Yeah, it was some um, random dude. I guess he was a celebrity, but I don't know. Oh man, but it got me thinking, right? So if somebody gives you ten million dollars to fight, but you have to win. Which celebrity or athlete would you fight? Would I? Um, I ain't gonna lie. I'd say maybe 70% of the celebrities I'm beating them up. Like, I'm beating them <laughs> real bad. Like, I'm beating them real Most of the, Especially, like, like rappers and shit. They all, like, 5'6", five, 5'5". Five, five. I was gonna say YK Osiris. No, I, YK's bad, but... I think he's, he's bad, but I think he could he could throw in... I'll beat him up, though. I'll beat YK you think, I don't think he could throw no hands at all, bro. I think he like nah, cause I seen him. Blueface is pretty tall with with reach. Nah, Blueface Blue is kind of. Blue I seen him fight before. Okay. You seen this girl run a run a, a halfback sweep, bro? Yeah, that was, I ain't gonna lie. She fake decent. She was that was decent. Nice. I, was I was like, oh, she ran like a nigga, bro. Yeah. I was like, what? Nah, the? but I, I believe she was a track athlete before. Yeah, I think she ran track, and yeah. she and JB watching on Bad Girls Club, just be fighting. I can't. People. I know. I cannot get into that. She loves that shit. I like she loves like, conflict. It's, it's too much drama and conflict. Like <laughs> shit that could be avoided by like, yo, my fault, my apologize. They jumping from here to over there to knock them out. Like they hey. just they, they trying too hard to be like they just putting people that love conflict in one room. That's how it is. That's just damaging the whole their 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 well being <laughs> for entertainment. I'm not I'm not here for it, bro. I don't know, bro. This is, this should just be happening. Jay love that shit. But to get back on the thing, I'm I'm doing YK Osiris, Drake. Nah, uh, nah, Drake like my size. Yeah, Drake J- not the little nigga, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know Drake kind of big. <laughs> yeah, Drake. Though. I'm playing Drake though. <laughs> I'm playing Drake, but um, you think Lil Durk can fight? I think Lil Durk can fight. I don't know if Lil Durk can box. The box, that's the thing. I think he can fight though. You hit him in the stomach a couple of times. You might, you might pass out. Nah, I think nah. Lil Durk probably could box though. He like 
He really a hood baby. They be outside just boxing for no reason, sir. So <laughs> they think, do be yeah. outside boxing for no reason. So I think I think I think Lil I think Lil Dirk probably got it, but I think that Lil Dirk little enough that if I hit him once, I think it's over, bro. Lil baby too. I think Lil Baby is a challenge. Like you, really? can, you can look at Lil Baby, even though he he, t- he type small, like he's like compared skinny. to me. Yeah, he's not skinny. Lil Baby up. He is. Yeah. Yeah. He, he started lifting weights. Like no, like he been lifting. Like he really. Yeah, he structured. Bro. Huh. Nah, he's like built. Like, I know. Was he like Wiz, Wiz Khalifa? Because Wiz Khalifa kind of aki. Nah, he's bigger, like aki than Wiz Khalifa. Really? Yeah. Oh shit! I didn't even know that. Wiz Khalifa is like cut. Oh yeah. He yeah, like yeah. big and cut like. That? He built like Dusty Locaine, like that's like just like that. <laughs> no way, little baby, not built like I that. Promise man. you, we can look it up. Are you thinking about? Are you sure you're not talking about the baby? Oh, I'm like little baby. Oh, <laughs> like when you say Dusty Locaine, I'm like, drum, huh? Drum, drum, drum. I'm thinking, I'm dead thinking of uh, the baby. The baby, yeah. no, not the baby. The baby, I'm not finding that. Yeah, man. I ain't finding that. I ain't finding that. Baby scared. Nah, little baby's dying. <laughs> <laughs> little baby's dead. That I can't fight the baby. The baby scares me, bro. That little baby, little baby's done up. The baby not. I even seen. I think I seen him throwing a punch before. I think I seen Lil Baby throwing a punch before. I can't fight that. I can't fight the baby, bro. I, he be knocking people out every yeah, week. Yeah, I be seeing him putting eggs, bro. Like, put, I think that's we gonna go the distance, putting them down. Yeah, bro. he be him go. go he gonna put me. He might put me down. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I don't think he feel no distance, pain, bro. Yeah, like, he don't feel no pain. I think it's sad, bro. Oh my god, what what are they? Let me think of an athlete. Any athletes? That's the thing, bro. Athletes are athletes. So I, I know. So they like, <laughs> they might just, just Steph beat. Curry. Yeah, Steph. No, Steph. The, Steph. Steph is done up. <laughs> Steph is done up. You can beat on Steph Curry. No, nah, I'm, I'm beating on Steph Curry, bro. I'm beating on Steph Curry. Bro. Like Steph, Trey Young. That's like the only people we go. With. Steph Curry, Trey Young. Steph Curry. I mean, There's a couple. I could fight somebody up to I say six, six, eight easily. I feel like six, nine, six, ten. <laughs> like that's when now you're out of my range. So you mean like like R.J. Barrett? Yeah, I could fight R.J. Barrett. <laughs> Let me think. RJ Barrett six seven, Cam Reddish like six eight. You gotta understand, right? So even even my son Ty and Pierre, they both know that they both both seven footers. So now look, <laughs> right? So they understand that their weakness, right? A seven footer's weakness is somebody shorter than them and yeah. strong. Yeah, that's every big <laughs> nigga's weakness. Like even me at the park, like the nigga that's that's five seven, it just I I hate going against him. Yeah, because he's just gonna do mad strong shit. Yeah, I get you. I get so you. For me. Oh um, man, oh, that's not bad picks though. That's not bad picks. No, nah, but my my picks I say is, um, the the easy ones of course is like the short the short guys. Yeah. Um, Kevin Hart, not doubt. <laughs> Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart's not doubt. I, I can't fight Kevin Hart. He's too funny, bro. Yeah, no, 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 I don't give a fuck. <laughs> He's not doubt. Um, uh. But Kev, Kev got heart though. He, he do got heart. He kind of he kind of yeah, strong yeah. though. Yeah, he's just short. <laughs> he just short. So I'm gonna win the boxing match like in the match. Oh, okay, okay. The match. I don't think I'm gonna knock him out though. Because oh, okay. short, you're gonna keep moving. <laughs> um, yeah. No, Steph Curry's done up. <laughs> I think I'll knock out Steph Curry. Bro, bro. <laughs> Steph Curry's done up. Oh, um, bro, free Steph Curry, man. Dang, that's tough. Um, you think LeBron could fight, bro? I think so. I think Devon, Lebr- I said Devon, LeBron could defend himself. <laughs> Not fight. I don't think he could fight though. Like I don't, LeBron don't look like he be fighting. He like he just like somebody trying to get at him. Like he know how to get out of it. But he don't know how like, like 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 being in the altercation. No, nah, yeah, I don't think LeBron is. Uh, I don't think LeBron is standing up and banging with nobody. I think he might have one hook of him. He done. That's the, that's all talk. The thing is, when you a tall nigga, bro, just gonna swing. You just have to swing. Tall niggas never learn how to fight. That's because true. like really tall niggas because their defense is people being afraid of them being so tall. Yeah, and they so, got the reach on everybody. So and like, they have the reach. But say you take somebody who is tall, like my height, tall yeah. but not that tall where their reach is enough. Like you actually have to learn how to, yeah. how to really for me staying in bang. Like, <laughs> nah, somebody like like Ty height don't really have. They never really have to learn how to fight because they already just. Nobody really want to try it. They just tall already, so it's already the distance. Yeah. Do you have somebody with a mentality like this? Like I don't care how tall you are, you're going down. It's over for me. Hey man, people, let me know, bro. Let me know if we crazy or not, bro. Steph Curry going down, bro. Steph Curry's done. Steph Curry oh, going oh down. God. You want to talk about your your thing before I get into this? Oh, yeah, would you, yeah, you want me to yeah. do the Would you rather the question first? Do the, would you rather? Do All right, so. Would you rather be in a coma for ten years or be in a wheelchair for ten years? So what? So basically, ten years in a wheelchair from your bottom down. 
You don't feel you can't move. Do I age? I'm aging. Yeah, it's ten years. Um, what age am I? Is it right now? So you, so you'll be by the time when you're what thirty three. Uh, that's a great question though, my. Cause I was gonna say. Oh, wait, you said I'm paralyzed for ten. Par- what you said? What? Oh, uh, you're in a wheelchair for ten years. Just paralyzed from the from the waist down. So my my man's don't work. Yeah, your man's is gone. <laughs> uh, but also, if you're in a coma, for, a lot can happen in ten years without you knowing. So how do I poop and pee? When a coma? No, when I'm paralyzed from the waist down. I think you can still. I think it still comes out. I don't know if you push it out. I, I, don't, I that's a good question. Yeah. How do they do that? Is it like a, or does it just happen and they gotta change me like I wear a diaper or something? I think it has to be like that, or maybe they have some. Maybe they have. If like, I'm paralyzed from the waist down, I could feel my stomach, right? Yeah, you probably could feel it, but you just can't move your legs. Like you don't have like that much. So, nerves. so I'm saying, so my man's. You know I don't think I mean? no, you don't got that much strength for your man's, bro. You just I got just need a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we can try to save his man. I'm trying. That's all I have to try to save. As long as I got my man's, I'm all right. But I'll take the I'll take the paralyzed legs. But so you. But now, what if it's just nothing? Because I don't even really think you can do that if you you like in a wheelchair for real. You can. If your legs like from the bottom you down, you can. I promise you can. <laughs> what? I'm not going to explain, but I promise you can. <laughs> <laughs> who's out? Who's out? But, out? but we was at, um in middle school, bro. Somebody brought up the video, bro. So I probably you can. <laughs> that was a fake video. Nah, it was a real video. <laughs> I don't want to know. Uh, I, ain't, I ain't gonna get into detail. I, I don't want to know that video. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna say, it, but just know somebody. Y'all better not send me that video. Somebody. They they better yeah. not send me that video. Y'all better not. Somebody send it to him, bro. Send no, it to him. <laughs> I don't want to see that shit. So you gonna be you gonna be in a wheelchair? Yeah, I'll do a wheelchair. Um, I think I'll do a wheelchair too. I was gonna say coma, but like because I, I think wanna, I want to be alive. I want to be living. I still want to see what's because you could be in a coma, but it might feel like five five minutes. Nah, it's dead. Oh just, really? I want to yeah, live my life. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like even but if still five minutes. Then when I come back to reality, it's I like understand. ten years past. Yeah, oh, okay. I really did not understand dang, how much I missed. Dang, like, how much everybody done moved on with their life, and I'm still in. <laughs> 2022, like, oh, dude, like, it's like you just went to jail. I'm like, shit. yo, y'all, y'all about to get on 2K22. <laughs> like, what? It's dude, 2K33. <laughs> get it to him. It's like, for me. Oh, dang, or yeah. if so, if niggas still playing the game back then. I know, that's true. Got like, a question. Yo, how do you feel about this year's 2K? How do I feel about it? Mm-hmm. I like it. I don't think it's too bad. Like, I feel like I like how, like, all the whites, like, you can't make a white, like, consistency, consistently. Because, mm-hmm. you know, Niggas was just winning off of straight oh, whites. So whites. now you gotta actually time your shit. Mm-hmm. So now it makes it people get better at the game. Nah, I think I think they did a good job with with the stamina being included and yeah. having, having to matter when you shooting the ball. I I think they really thought thought this game you out know, word, really well, really word, well. Word, like especially word. to with the with all the like the quests. Even that shit, the, the like, quest is annoying. Oh my shit! Bro. It's annoying. The VC is annoying. There's no first way. of all. They done up the VC prices on no, your boys. No, it's for, for for what reason? I don't I don't understand. I don't that. know why either. It's like it's not. I don't know if it's the prices, but it's like when you go up a tick, it's way more than. Oh it used yeah, to be. yeah, 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 yeah. Because sure. you go up like a sixty to a sixty one. That's lie. like three thousand a day. Like two K thirteen when they first introduced it. Yeah, twenty dollars could a whole player. You're good. Like that twenty dollars. That play is good. But now it's like what like one fifty. Yeah, God damn, it's one fifty. To be an eighty-five overall, like they to be, and to look have nice clothes, like mm-hmm. damn, like what? Like, like this shirt costs the same thing in real life. Like, like I'm not bro, even wearing it myself. Ten, ten bands for a t-shirt. <laughs> like what? If you better send that shit to me, like <laughs> I'm about as well, bro. Ten bands, bro. Like ten thousand like, dollars on the thing is like what? That's like what? Uh, fifteen dollars? Ten thousand VC maybe? Twenty? No, twenty-five thousand is fifteen. That's crazy. Like why? That's, that's just, so crazy. That's the only favorite. thing I have a problem with. Everything else, I feel like everything else they they thought it out like um. I like the little matchmaking shits, like the theater. Oh yeah, because like when niggas are done, like they get bored of park, mm-hmm. you can go to the theater and they they recycle it every, every um was it? Every I feel week? like the, a lot of a lot of the shit with niggas think is oh my fault. A lot of the yeah. shit with niggas think is comp. That shit dead. Like all I know, the, I know. Left right uh, pull up, all that shit is that shit dead. Is done, bro. You still see a couple people do it every once in a blue moon, but you cannot do it consistently. Exactly. Like, you cannot cheese the left right pull up stop pop. You can't do it no more. That's why I'm glad like, we out here got to be hooping like for real. Now like, you now it's it's really more realistic. So that's yeah. the only reason I like. That's why I like it. 
anybody wanted it, come get it. Uh, I really, Discord, I really join, the Discord. Busy, join the Discord. We'll put in. Discord. We really let, get busy in there. Let them know, bro. Yeah, you can play with us. Pause. <laughs> you know I heard GTA Six coming out. I see. Yo, they don't leak the GTA. Mm-hmm. All them boys. They said I heard they spent like two billion dollars on it. So and they, I heard they locked they locked the dude up. They said he was a part of mad like <laughs> leaks of different other things. They said he really? Was, yeah. That leaked it. He got yeah, locked they up. They said he was a part. I think a. Uh, Poor dash scandal or something. Oh, like he was that. the reason for that shit. No, he was a part of it. Like he was oh. a part of mad shit that that was just getting leaked. They said boy was seventeen. Oh, I think I was seventeen years old doing all this stuff from his home. What the fuck, bro? Like, I don't know why people don't put the energy towards like some some different shit, like some shit that <laughs> could actually like really matter. You leaking the gameplay doesn't really do nothing. Like, I know, right? It was gonna come out. eventually. It's gonna come out eventually. You feel me? I don't but they know. said they've been working on the game. I forgot how many years, but they said they've been working on the same. Game that they don't push back, push back for what ten? What is it? Ten years? Bro, it came out. GTA Five came out. I was in the eighth grade, bro. Oh, so it's about to. It's going on like ten years, maybe. Yeah, it's going on ten, 10 years. years. More than ten years. No, I think what? Wow, wow, Luke. Oh, that is. That's what? more than ten I was years. 13. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Damn. <laughs> Yo, fuck, that's ass. more than ten years. They wait on GTA, bro. Oh my god. So this shit better be good, bro. Yeah. Two billion dollars worth. They said the last GTA was two hundred fifty million. I think. Word. So they put two billion dollars into this game. It, it better, better be, be like good. cross platform or some shit. I heard they on. like they like add new um cities. But at the same at the same time, bro, I feel like GTA Five did so much. Where it's like, like what more? What, what you more could you add? That's what I'm saying. And they still add into GTA Five now. Just like, imagine, still updates. Just how much storage that should take up. Oh, Damn, that shit. should be ass. You could probably only have GTA. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> you could probably could only play GTA. Oh yes. <laughs> Oh my god! Bro, I just hope like, cause gaming is dying like so bad. I just hope that's a game where everybody is on it, everybody's playing. Is it really dying, or are we just getting older? That's what I was talking about with Jason before. Like, is it just um, we're getting older? It's dying. You think so? It's dying. Like, what if like the kids? But is- the, I will say is that how like the age to continue playing games is a lot longer. Oh, okay. like by the time people were twenty three, Nigga- gaming was looked at as bad. Like oh, you really? stop yeah, playing yeah, video yeah. games like like even some girls now be like are you still playing video Hell yeah. <laughs> yo we on the K like we on the K this shit ain't yeah, never gonna stop like, people never gonna stop like, ain't never, it like, really, really, really gamers, won't until like, I go blind I ain't gonna lie no cap. <laughs> until it makes me go blind but now nah, I, I think it, it it is dying like because the games or maybe we just have high expectations yeah and the nostalgia behind the older games and shit like that is like but, affecting it, yeah. Because I feel like some, I feel like these little kids may be like having fun, like as much as we I are. Just, no, they're not because on on top of that, they only have like one or two games that they own. Oh, let's see, like two K or Call of Duty type. Two K or Call of Duty, two K Call of Duty Fortnite. Yeah, for like the last four or five years. That's true. And then you have like a a game that a pop in there, like a like a maybe God of War pop in. Oh, or, you know, like just Assassin's random, Creed, like, Assassin's Creed yeah. pop in, but it don't even last long. Like I'm like. Even when niggas be like, yo, buy this game, buy this game. I'm like, yo, bro, we're going to be playing this joint for two months. I'm about to spend $100 on a game that we not even going to play for two months. <laughs> it's dead, bro. Wait for the, wait till it's free, then we're going to ball That's out. That's really what bro. we do every time. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Wait till it's free, then we're going to ball out. Because it's like, why are we wasting so much money? <laughs> like, we bought Vanguard. No, Cold War, we was going stupid. Any, Cold War any, fun. Any of y'all six versus R6, slimed out. That was no great. Was but it? like, yeah. You, Bash, Fritz. Those are good times, bro. Bro, literally... Any of y'all six with R6, you getting slumped. Jason, Jason, nah. But I'm telling you, bro. We was going, we was having so much fun on Cold War. That was fun. To the point where we was like, yo, Vanguard, we got to get it. Bash yeah. was like, yo, was, you get played with 10 people. On the, yeah, I was like, get huh? that, That shit was so garbage. You couldn't <laughs> play with 10. You could play with 10, but you couldn't have 10 in your party. I don't even know why Call of Duty stopped doing that. Like, Ground War, you could have mad people in one party. I don't know. I feel like... Like I literally played that game for the first day. The first day I bought it, and oh, I never, never played, played it again. <laughs> I never played it again. Nobody else. But I just say I don't remember what else game was lit at the time. WWE. Yeah, we was on WWE. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but we was on that game for like two months. Yeah, though. we was on that game for like two months. Like every day though. That's, I know every what, day. That's probably why it died though, because we was on it every day. And we got it was like, oh, what more you could do? No, yeah. I, like yeah, we lose just fight, like I had Barney and just. Fight. I feel like that's my that's the thing with two K. That's what two K kind of dies out. Where it's like. What more okay, you we could play do. park, we play rec. What now? What else? Yeah. You feel me? I feel like that's why they start. I think they, like, throughout the season, I think they're going to change shit up. That's why I like they have, like, that little uh, matchmaking but shit. throughout the season, they should add, like, DLCs and shit like that. Oh. I guess, I guess that's why they do the theater to kind of spice it up. Yeah, I think that's why, but, too. 
Maybe. They have to add a new game mode. Like, it, it has to happen. Yeah. For 2K to really, I mean, they run in the world because they ain't no other basketball game. Yeah, but unless NBA, NBA they, Live come well, out. I say they do, bro, which is possible because they got the Miley shits where they have, like, a connect in my career where, like, everybody do the grind together in a way. It may not oh. give you as much badge points or as much, like, attribute points because niggas be cheating. Yeah. <laughs> but I would say, like, have some shit where we all get drafted and we all try and go to the number one spot or... Type shit like you oh, know, like, like we whole, competing. That's kind of tough. That's mad tough. That's like, just kind of tough. Like I don't know. It's been years. I don't know how they haven't all fifty thousand of them people working at two K Sports and nobody thought of this shit hey, or the implant it. I'm like, come on, we getting stories about niggas rapping. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's so ass, bro. We getting story about niggas rapping. We had to go in the basement and rap with the dude. <laughs> like that shit is terrible. Who came up with that shit? That nigga gotta get fired. That nigga is All the raps, the bars. He said poop scoop get do fi- Yo, get fired. Please fire that man. Bro. He even put no rappers. Who made these raps? Whose father know, did bro. this shit? I don't. That shit is bad, bro. Oh, my God, bro. I don't know, man. But well, what do you want to go talk about, bro? Oh, I still got my uh, my little, my little, my little situation that I'm trying to show you, bro. So crazy, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now. You you would say you were uh, a basketball guy, wouldn't you? Of course, of that course. You watch the league, you know what I'm saying? I try. And you say you know most of the players, right? Yeah. But do you know the players' numbers? Like, do you know most of the like the best players? I think or? I know a decent amount. I right, think percentage wise, like how would you say? Uh, I'll say seventy five percent. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> I, think, I, know, I think I got. A lot. I, I ain't gonna go lie to you. I don't think I know seventy five. <laughs> Maybe if I sit and think, I'll remember it. But I'm about to bust your head, bro. <laughs> now, look. So, now, I got about 10. And, uh, let me see. I'm going to start with a hard one. So, Derek White. What is his jersey number? Four. No. <laughs> He's not four? <laughs> He's not wait, four. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. That was on the, when he was on the fucking Derek White? Derek White. He's not On the four? Boston Celtics, yeah. Uh I'm going to give you two chances for everybody. He's not number four. No. What number is he? 11? No. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't change his number. I swear. He, he did change his number. Yeah. He wasn't. <sighs> All right. I got. This is my last one, right? Mm-hmm. <sighs> I don't think. No. That's not his number. Bro, what number? 14? No. What number is he? Nine. Nine? He's number nine, dude. <gasps> D. No. This one could be hard, but could be easy. Pause. Luka Doncic. Oh, 77. Okay, 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 okay. Andrew Wiggins. 22. Are oh, you going stupid? <laughs> uh, Blake Griffin. Ooh, two. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. DeMar DeRozan. Ooh, DeMar DeRozan. Because I think he might have had a jersey number switch. With DeMar DeRozan? DeMar DeRozan. Um, damn. DeMar DeRozan. 30? No. Oh, that's way off. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Um, nine? Uh, no. What number was he? Demario Rosen is 11. Damn, I was going to say 11. That was my next guess. 11, 11. That was my next Uh, guess. Um, Darren Fox. Five. Five, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Oh, wait. Uh, Miles Bridges. Ooh, I think he was five, too. No. He wasn't? Ah, damn. He wasn't. He's not 11. Miles, but that's a hard one. I think he was number. I can't. No, he doesn't want his number. When? No, that was Fuck. 10? No. What number was he? Zero. Z- zero. <laughs> Damn. I'm not going to lie. In my head. He was like 23. Like, I, I was going like to say 23 too, but I'm like, wait, no. I feel like he would have been one of them LeBron. I, I thought somebody else had 23. Oh, move up a little bit. I'm off, I'm off. 
DeAndre Ayton. Ooh, ooh, that was a that's a DeAndre Ayton. Nah, his number ain't that high. Bro, what number is he? What the fuck? Fifteen? No. Huh. Oh. Twenty-two? No. Damn, what was it? What is it? Twenty-three. Oh my Damn. gosh, bro. I'm like right there. I'm like one number off, bro. We're not lied. He is twenty-two. Okay, I was about yeah, to say. Yeah, I was about yeah, to say. Yeah, yes, sir. He is twenty-two. Yeah. Marky Smart. Oh. Thirty-three. No. What? Oh my god! What the fuck? How did I not know his number? I feel like everybody knows his number though. That's what I'm saying. Like, what the? Like, I'm trying. I'm picturing him, but I can't picture the jersey. No, 33. I think it was way wore in college. He was number, and then he's on Celtics, so he can't wear 33. Why the fuck did I say that? Um, I know it's not a single digit number. No, it's not. It's not a single. Like you in the realm. <sighs> 36? 36. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me give you another hard one. Grant Williams. 12. Oh, that's yeah, tough. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's you tough. Know what I'm that's saying? tough. You know what I'm saying? I, didn't, I didn't know Grant Williams. <laughs> and I'm a Celtics fan. That's tough. I'm going give you two more, bro. All right. Let me hear it. Damn, oh, that was a good one. I didn't think I, <laughs> I, didn't think I was going to get that one. That's tough. Chris Todd Persingas. Ooh. Seven? No. That motherfucker done changed his number. <sighs> KP. K- Christoph. Oh. 33? No. What number was he? Six. Damn, I said seven, <laughs> bro. I was like, damn. I was like, oh, he maybe he's around there. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my God. Uh, I'll be like right the there. Last one, last one, last one. I'm trying to see if I can find a, a rookie. <laughs> you got it, really. That was cheap. As a matter of fact, Bobo. That's my slum right there. I love Bobo. He he hasn't played for a minute. I know. Actually, I don't even want to use that one because he he hasn't even been playing. What was his number? What they they have him here on the on the. Uh, it's, it's like a high ass number, isn't it? Mm. What is it like two? Uh no, nah, he was number ten on on Denver. He hasn't oh yeah, yeah. Denver. Uh, he Gary Payton, the third. The second. The second. <laughs> <laughs> he was number on the Warriors. Yeah, the Warriors. All right, he was. This is an easy one though, but it's easy, but it's hard. Thirty-three. No. Four. No. What number was it? Zero. <laughs> it's the zero that be fucking me up, bro. It's definitely zero. I swear. I was, you, did, you did pretty well. I was you, did, you did way better than I thought you were going to do. Because if you would have did me, I would have failed. That's how you did. You want to try? Yeah, I want to try. I'm, I know I'm failing. I know I'm failing, bro. All right. Jalen Green. <laughs> Jalen Green. He's zero, right? He's zero. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> He's zero. Yeah. How me do Diallo? Homie's like five. Nah. Fifteen. Nah, I'll give you one more. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you three. Homie's <laughs> three. Nah. Damn. It was six. Six? Oh, that's tough. I didn't know that. Damn, right. my fault. Uh, <laughs> Damn, I did know that. Like, I, see, I feel like after I say it, then I see it in my head. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad with that. Jalen Brunson. J- Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Fucking six. Nope. Twelve. Nope. Is he ten? Nah, it was thirteen. Thirteen. <laughs> I think he was around there. All right. The next one is John Collins. <laughs> John Collins is uh eleven. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, bro. Hold up. Bro. Hold up, bro. Let me get right here, bro. John Collins, bro. John Collins is number hey, 20. Yeah, there you He's go. 20. Yeah, there you go. I had to get right. All right. How about, right. how about, um, 
Uh, let me let me get you that. So difficult. Let me see a decent one. Mikael Bridges. Oh, <laughs> uh, Mikael Bridges is definitely <laughs> like twenty five. Yeah, he's twenty five. Yeah, he's twenty five. Yeah, he's twenty five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right, right. Um. Damn that one. Julius Randle. Julius Randle is like sixteen. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. I got 16, but I'm drunk. He's like 30 something. 30. 30. 30? Is he 30? Yeah, he's 30. 30. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Jimmy Butler. Nah, I know Jimmy, bro. I know Jimmy, bro. That's my guy, man. Jimmy, like. Eight? No. <laughs> <laughs> 23. He was 23. He's 23 no more. He's 23 on the Sixers. Uh. What the fuck? The fuck is Jimmy? I was just looking at him. Um, I, that's my last one, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go. Let me see, bro. <laughs> I give you two more after this one. Let me see. All right. Damn. <laughs> all right. All right, me, all right. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna say he is. I said four already. What? Uh, did I say number four? I didn't say four. He's not four. No. Uh, he's six. He's 22. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Oh, he is 22. He is 22. All right. Let me do. Oh, JB. <laughs> let me do. Let me see. Uh, Kyle Anderson. Slow-mo. Damn. Jersey, too. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, Kyle Anderson is number seven. No. <laughs> Kyle Anderson is number... He 30. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Yo, bro. what is, bro? He got to be like 11 or some shit. <laughs> is that your final answer? Uh, he's, he's one. He is one. Yeah, I'm bucking, I'm bucking, I'm bucking. He's one. All right, do you want a hard one or you want a decent one? I want a hard one. Pause. All right. This is Steven Adams. Steven Adams is number 10. No. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I said that to real confidence. Uh, Steven Adams should not be a hard one. He was, was he 10 at a point? Yeah, on the Thunder, I think on he was thunder, 10. Okay. Uh, dang, he probably uh like 60. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, what is Steven Adams? He got to be like 35. Nah, he got one more. <laughs> I didn't even know this is number two. That's why this is a hard one. <laughs> Damn, bro. Oh, man. That's tough. Uh, one. Nah, you close. It was four. Four? Ah, uh, damn, 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 damn. I knew. I, I was like, damn, he's not that high. He's a single midget. Like, I was thinking. Well, automatically, like, I think in my head, like, the big dudes get big numbers because that's what they do That's why I said. That's why I thought. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they, they do got, AU. They all got the guards, bigger jerseys. Singles, you know, the big jerseys is like 30-something. Mm-hmm. But, hey, that's funny, bro. All right. But, you know why, why, why I like, like, let's do that? Because, like, when they did the Bill Russell thing, how important numbers are to somebody, like, like kids growing up and wanting to be that number, yeah, because of a player. Like I want to be number three. Everything else, say Wadi three, big three. You know how that go. Because <laughs> of like Allen Iverson. Like I loved AI as a kid. Yeah, and then my next favorite player was D Wade. And he was number three. And he was number three too. That's so any player with number three, I just gravitated towards him just because they wore number three. I think mine was fi- mine was fifteen. I always wore fifteen. Fifteen because of Melo. Yeah, because yeah. of Melo. But I feel like it's not to say it's unfair. But taking away number six, that's a that's a, a like a common number. I know that is a common that number. Mad people cannot wear now. Like I know LeBron had like, six. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like mad people cannot wear number six now. Which like wait, dang. so is it retired by Bill Russell in every place, or is it retired in the by league? The, it's re- so retired like, in the NBA. So do they put they don't put Bill Russell jersey up in every place, right? No, they just put it in Celtics just, on the Celtics. Kind of LeBron. I think they re- retire with LeBron's number six in Miami. They got to, though. They got to retire that. They said it was going to re-retire the number. Yeah. All right. That's not bad. But since we're talking about NBA players, now we're going to draft NBA players. But instead of basketball, we're going to draft five people. They're going to play football. So we're gonna, it's going to be a five-on-five football match. So it's like a quarterback and four receivers slash defensive backs. Like, they're going to play wide receiver and defense. 
Okay. Oh, so this, all right. So, so you get quarterback. one quarterback, mm-hmm. and then you get four people that's going to play wide receiver and defensive back. DB. Yeah. Okay. So you get to pick first. So I'm going to draft my uh, quarterback so first. No, I'm draft my receiver first. Oh, my fault. I'm going to draft my receiver first. I'm going to go uh, LeBron, motherfucking James. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You go draft. I'm going to go quarterback first. I'm going I'm to go. And everybody's not. Nobody's hurt. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go Lonzo. Lonzo's quarterback? Yeah. That's a pretty decent quarterback. He's like 6'7". Six, 6'6". Seven, six, 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 and he can, yeah. I see him throw a pass. I think he can throw a football okay, pretty okay, well. Okay. Um, so I got my QB, bro. I'm going to get my I'm gonna go my QB last. I'm going to go my slot. My slot receiver, Russell Westbrook. That's the telling you. He's going. He's hitting <laughs> hard. He's getting. I'm talking about he get, if you play in DB, he's hitting hard. <laughs> if he's getting receiver, he's jumping high. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. I think for my slot, I pick. I pick. I pick John Morant. John Morant is very tough. John Morant is very tough, but he's getting hit and he's not getting up. <laughs> <laughs> getting right up. You got me. a lot of big bulky that's dudes. A, that's what I'm saying. But you remember this? They age though. Yeah, it's, yeah, fine, it's, still, bro. it's still fine. It's still fine. One game, <laughs> and they, one game, but he be all right. Um, let's see. Stay. I don't care what fuck. What age is LeBron? LeBron be sixty five. Yeah, no. Bro. Line him up. <laughs> <laughs> Line him up. Uh, let's see. My, I'm gonna go and play receiver and DB. I'm gonna go. Jimmy Butler because I know he's gonna try hard. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like JB gonna try mad hard. So I'm gonna ah, go. that's that's a pretty good pick. I'm gonna pick Giannis. Just so Giannis is tough. Just Giannis cause he can tough. he gonna get all the, the deep ball. Yeah, yeah, Giannis balls. is very tough. Giannis is very that's a really good one. You thought about this question though. No, I, I the only thing I thought <laughs> about was Lonzo. Well, <laughs> no. Giannis is very tough. Okay, Giannis is very tough. My last one, bro, Pat Bev. This <laughs> <laughs> got straight defenders, Pat, bro. Pat Bev, bro. All right. Pat Bev. It's, all right. it's the you need heart to play football. <laughs> Pat Bev got all you could be seven foot. Pat Bev is on that on the field. Pat Bev. <laughs> all right, Pat I'm Bev a, is probably my best player out of all players I name. <laughs> Football, Pat Bev. I'm going to go a, with... Um, fuck was that? Oh, that shit fell. I'm going to go with... Uh, damn. I'm trying to think who is on these teams. I'm going to go Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards is tough. That's an, really tough. But I'm saying a nigga like Pat Bev, bro. <laughs> him and the Matt Noir, like all the fouls, all the he's with everything. I you, you still gotta pick your quarterback. Quarterback, okay, okay. My my QB will probably be Chris Paul. Mm. You got a little, you got a little at quarterback. I, 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 Chris Paul like six foot. He like six foot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's get, like Russell Wilson height. Yeah, he, he's straight enough to get up out of there. You know what I'm saying? I think he played football. He might have played football. Someone, someone played football, bro. I forgot. Um, LeBron played football. LeBron was a receiver. That's why I picked him up first. First <laughs> pick, bro. Well, I got all right. So I got I got Alonzo, Giannis, Anthony Edwards, and John Moran. I need one more receiver. I'm gonna go with um <sighs> Who am I gonna go with? I think I'm gonna go with I feel like there's somebody I'm missing that's really crucial in this whole thing, but I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with um I'll go De'Aaron Fox. I'll go, De'Aaron I'm Fox straight is really good, straight bro. speed. I was gonna say speed. Marcus Smart, but I think he's too stiff. Yeah, I need De'Aaron speed. Fox is really good, but he might be niggas that's fast like that never can catch. <laughs> <laughs> he's fast like that never can catch. Even hey. like basketball wise, he's fast like that never can catch. Hey, people, let us know who got the best one. We think is gonna win five on five, bro. Five I think this five. is pretty decent. My team is gonna out hustle your team. Like, <laughs> just like telling you, heart wins in football. Your team All that cool, scrappy niggas. That's um, That's what you need to win. <laughs> hey, All gang. that cool fly. John Morant might go get it. <laughs> By the time he come down, Jimmy Butler. Ah, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's that's old, tough, bro. That's tough. But I got a question, right? I don't know if I asked you this question. So say you you were suddenly given godlike powers. What is the first thing you're doing? <laughs> uh, if I'm given godlike powers, the first thing I'm doing, aside from the ones that I already have, um, <laughs> uh, damn. Like God, God like God like powers. Anything I can fly. Anything. God like powers. So basically, you can fly. Super strength. Probably got my. I might take over the world. I ain't gonna lie. 
But I might do it secretly, secretively though. Nah. Like I might, I might frame it on the government. Nah, I, I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try. Damn, I wouldn't even lie. I'll be like this. Like I'll, I'll force the government to like fight each other, and then I'm gonna come and save everybody, and everybody's gonna be on my side now. But really, um, I'm the one who forced them to do that shit. And stuff. Huh? <laughs> Gaslighting. <is, laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, but I wouldn't. Ah. Uh, like I could be evil. Like I could, I could really. <laughs> I have the proper mentality to run the world. You know what I'm saying? But I don't, if I had so much, for like a lot. What, it sounds cliche, but what power comes with responsibility. Yeah. So that's a lot of, to be that god powerful. Like, like, like that's a lot of power. I know like, it is. I think nigga like me, that should have gone to my head. But <laughs> <laughs> would you tell that people? Should've. I would tell people close to me. Yeah, I would tell close. close and people by. that don't know me, I would kind of like. Bully them. Like I, <laughs> like I pick on somebody just to see what they'll test me. What like, the like, fuck? Yeah, like I just like okay, somebody that I don't like their energy or their vibe. Like ah, all right, like I test them. Like, I just <laughs> as beat as that. He's like that nigga's going. Like, I, don't th- I don't think I'll tell you there. Like, but like I'm, I'm, I don't think I'll. At the same time, you got a nigga like Spider Man who nobody knows. He gets no recognition. I know. He's living like a bum. I- and somebody <laughs> who everybody know who he is. Like Iron Man, Tony Stark. Everybody know Tony Stark. Yeah. So you feel me? It's, it's what, like, what it's like, you I mean, it's like a double-edged sword. Like, you know, it's either way. Like, cause like at the end of the day, if you got all them powers, people are going to bug you for it. People might kidnap you. They might take advantage of you. They want to know how you're that how strong. You, you know it. how they yeah, be. That's what I'm saying. And but, every, every show, they always show like, uh, like the people trying to test on people. on How'd you get these powers? How far did these powers range? Like, how strong are you? What are your limits? What are you capable of? Like, yeah. So ain't nobody tested me. The nigga, they, the minute they try to test me, bro, I'm running the world now. <laughs> <laughs> the minute they try to like put something in my body, when it nah, it's over for that. Nah, uh, I think I think I'll just, but like I feel like I'll rule it, but I wouldn't rule it like too bad. Like I wouldn't just go crazy. Nah, but I'll I, be I think, like, they gonna look at me like, but like I need your help. Like say aliens come down, I'm gonna you have to stop. You know, them I would love to be a dictator. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I would fuck? love to be a dictator, bro. I would love it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> to be a dictator like, like if you switch your shoes with Kim Jong Un right now you'd be straight I'd be straight that would <laughs> bro that would be the best <laughs> what the yo fuck? that would be the best country ever <laughs> if I'm running that me hey, bro if I'm running that country it'd be the best country ever bro I, want, I don't want that there I ain't gonna lie you, <laughs> you would enjoy life brother <laughs> Tell you if me, UJ, if I'm running the country I don't, don't want to be where it's gonna be one day like uh, all hail UJ day <laughs> I don't want to know what that day consists of. <laughs> I don't want to know. Yo. All hell, you just. All hell, you I'm telling you, every day I'm open. I got, got it in my head, too, like a little image I got in my head. Like, <laughs> where it's like I have like a balcony that shows the whole. Whole city, it's how, yeah. It's how crazy. I know everybody like me. Like, that shows the whole city. And then like in front of it is where like people, all my uh, people of my country can come and look at me. So when I open it, I open my hands like this. And then they all cheer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they all like, <laughs> so I open up early in the morning. I, sh- I got people keep waiting on me to open the open the blinds. When I come hey, bro, I, I'm just gonna save the world from the alien attacks, bro. No. That may happen or an asteroid. Nah, but I f- at the same time, you have powers. They gotta come from somewhere. Yeah, so gotta it come could from come from an alien base or some shit hey, like bro. that. Like, but, I'll be the one to save that. Save but us you, from you, would, that. you really wouldn't want to be a dictator. I don't think I can. I don't think I got the the heart to do that. I'm but too, be you don't bad. have to necessarily be a bad. That's a. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be a bad up. dictator. You don't necessarily gotta be a bad person and be a dictator. You feel me? But I also care too much about what people think sometimes. I don't. Care. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like I be I, trying to make everybody happy sometimes. But that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm the proper dictator because like, I understand <laughs> you can't make everybody happy. You're yeah. gonna have you could you could be literally the nicest person as a dictator. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have people that hate you because you're nice. Yeah. That's true. Like, oh, he's too good. To, he's too nice to people. That's a thing. Yeah. You're too nice to people. Yeah. Or you're too mean to people. Like, it's it's always going to be a... So, you just got to live it like... Live your life. Live your life. And that's what I'm prepared to do. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm going to open the doors. Two, I, I always imagine two doors are open like that. You guys <laughs> just, like just say, you <laughs> yeah, no. Everybody cheering. I'm like, and then once I do this... Everybody shut up. <laughs> Yo, you need help. Yeah. Like, you need help, bro. Everybody shut up. Bro. Oh, my God, bro. But, but I got to give him one day. I'm at, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I'll be at like a, 
<laughs> or have like a uh, a Colt. <laughs> nah, bro. Colt is crazy. <laughs> Colt is crazy. I'm a UJ Colt, bro. Don't let me get famous, bro. Colt's is scary. Like, nah, I, would, I wouldn't allow a Colt, bro. Nah, I, I, like, I, I started to realize what Colts are now. Nah, Colts is, is actually kind of scary. It's bad. It's actually kind of scary. Like, bro. I heard there was a guy that, um, it was a, so what the Colt was, it was a guy who would sleep with many women, and they would have kids, and then he would sleep with them kids, and then he just kept breeding, 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 breeding. What? Yeah, and then I guess w- one of the kids... He was like, I guess, I think the dad like disowned him, like kicked him out the cult. So he was basically living like on his own, like he was poor, like he was mm-hmm. homeless. And he didn't know like how life was because all he knew was his family. Like he had one side was like 150 members. Mm. And it's like they're all related. And that's mostly what cults are. It's like they, uh, one person either kidnaps or influences a bunch of like either women, kids, mm. uh, younger people, and they go into the woods and he just starts. Like telling them, oh, you have to follow me, or you're gonna die, or the world gonna end, and I know it all. I'm God now. I feel like you can you can control somebody from young. Yeah. Like if you get a child, and you tell a child, like I was watching Rick and Morty, right? Yeah. And he told his, uh, uh, Morty told his son that outside is bad. You cannot go outside. Mm-hmm. So from a kid, if you tell a kid, I forgot what it was called, but when he goes outside, he wants to destroy everything. Anyways, <laughs> um, but if you tell a kid from young, if you go there, if you touch this. This is what's gonna. I remember they told me as a kid, right? Yeah. That if you point at a um at a gravesite or tombstones, your hands gonna turn into stone. Really? So yeah. So like I said, we used to go to EO every day, like to, yeah. to G's house. G live at EO. Oh, in that big ass cemetery. Yeah, that big ass cemetery. Yeah. yeah. So I be uh looking at that shit every time. Every time I'm like, <laughs> and I remember one day I was like, <laughs> because I'm like, bro. <laughs> okay, they told me. I'm talking about. I forgot who told me, but they told me if you point at this shit, your hands gonna turn into stone. Like mash it. I remember my cousin Anna. She told me um, if you crawl on the floor, uh, somebody gonna die, or like somebody your family yeah. gonna die. Like just random shit. If you tell kids shit like that, they're going to believe. That's it. how so it is. That's what I'm saying. Like I was always saying this before. Like if if some if the wrong person gets a hold of like a school, like a preschool, mm-hmm. like say. He kidnaps like a, a as much kids like the amount of kids that could fit a preschool, and like he teaches them how to be assassins. He can rule the world like that. World, word, I ain't gonna lie, he can word. rule the world like that. And fix that mentality, like fix like fix that mentality from young. Mm-hmm. It's over, Literally, like it's over. like that's what a lot of these like there's a, like like for real. There's probably a lot of cults like that be like, especially like I think down south and then the, on the west coast. There's probably a lot of them. They call it uh, forgot what they what word they use for it, but it's really a cult. Like, uh. Is it like, like cl- they call like clans and stuff? Yeah, are really cults. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. really just cults. It's yeah. just like people that just take advantage of other people that don't know no better. Mm-hmm. Like literally, like, literally. Or if you you have like a common interest with some, it couldn't even it, it cannot even be that in depth, but just a slight common interest they'll draw you in. Exactly. Like, hey, bro. Oh, what's that? What's that saying? Fucking, I don't know. It's just mad easy. I feel like if you give people that need hope hope, mm. then you can Yo, you can tell them to do anything, bro. Literally, literally, literally. Like that's all. It is. Bro. That's what a lot of religions are even like that too. That's like, what I'm saying. On a, on a scary tip, like a lot of people with few religions are trying to kill somebody, be on sacrifice. Like yeah, it gets scary how people mentals go. Like exactly. Like that's why I'm. That's why I be thinking like with religions and stuff. It's like, it's like it's a way to give people hope and structure when they need it the most. Like because mm-hmm. think about it. When we ever when we go to war. Throughout history, whenever we went to war, whenever there was conflict, it's always about religion most of the time. Mm-hmm. Like there's always Crusades and shit. yeah, it's like they're challenging your religion, so mm-hmm. it's like you have to back up that challenge, especially right, so back in lot, the days. A lot of times, people like I don't refer to like my religion; I call it a way of life. Yeah, so it's, yeah. Also, it's challenging your way of life. But I'm not gonna go too in depth on the new ways of life before we get canceled. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I think I think there's gonna be another, like not actual physical war, but the way that the world is turning is it might be like a a media social like a social media kind of war. What what I'm scared with like between like two different kinds of communities. Uh, I, yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I feel like because it's starting to build up that way. Yeah, it's building up that way. When like something physically may not happen, or people might get hurt in the process, but it's going to be a divide between yeah. two communities for sure. It's just, I don't know, bro. Like it's just always like that. I feel like 
especially like I think the, the everybody's main goal is just I think they want to have like a like a single like religion mm. where everybody follows. Yeah, just, sure. Cause just imagine everybody follows one book. Cause you know how many book like books of religion there's probably like hundreds of books. Yeah. And imagine somebody follows the same thing. Like that's really like mind control for real. But my thing is, even with people trying to damn, I really want I want to talk to anybody. You know how how sensitive people are on the subject of like like LGBT and shit like that. Yeah, I'm very sensitive to it. That's why I don't want to get too in depth. But like how everybody wants everyone to believe a certain thing. Yeah, where it's like kind of like that's that's not how it works. Like yeah. it's not how it's not how everybody's not going to believe what you believe. So mm-hmm. you can't hate anyone. Or get mad at anyone for not believing the same thing as you. That's true. So it's it's, it's this world is just becoming more weird and more weird, bro. Hey, bro. We people, just I'm just like like like. I thought we got beyond the point of I don't like you because you don't believe in what I believe in. I thought we got beyond that point from like you know when people like they're in crusades and stuff when Christians were trying to defend and wanted to be able to express that they were Christians and yeah. Muslims as well. Like, same thing. I thought we were beyond those points. But it's always, like, a new battle. Like, it's always something different. I feel like everything is just, like, a cycle. A cycle. Just recycle. It it's recycled, but in a different way. Yeah. that's how. I, I feel like that's how life is. Mm, yeah. Like, every, we go through everything, everything again, the same, again but it's just differently. Mm-hmm. But, hey, bro. I don't know, man. Like, it's, it just creeps me out sometimes, bro. I feel like that's the, that's the whole goal. I pray for our grandkids. They really going to get it. Like, they really coming into a, a different... Like, even our kids mm-hmm. are going to be going to school... Like, online. Wearing, online, wearing masks and shit. Like, I know. Like, that's going to be the norm, pulling up in a mask. Like, they probably going to ask us, like, yo, how was uh, life, life was- before masks? <laughs> like, Once I hear that, I'm feeling so old. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Back in the day, man, I was walking to school, fresh face. Y'all don't know about that. Shape up all of them. They yeah, not going to know. We like, to, now, now we had to brush our teeth. Teeth. <laughs> <laughs> y'all dirty. I know some of y'all dirty. They <laughs> 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 still got to brush their teeth. brush their teeth no more. Like. <laughs> That's so gross, bro. That's yeah, so gross. You just wake up. You either in your cl- like in your your classroom it's, is your bedroom. Yeah. So basically. you wake up and you in your class. Exactly. Or when you actually go to class, you got a mask on. Mm-hmm. You know how many people I've never seen face? Or how many people never seen my face? So like, <laughs> Not nah, frax, that is like, true. Yeah. Hey, bro. To my people that I've talked to for a mad long, like see, even at work, there's people that have never seen my face. Really? L- yeah, that I've worked with like for mad long, and they'll <laughs> see me now. Like, that's what you look like. I'm like, I feel like that bro. happened with me a lot with a lot of people. Too. <laughs> I'm like, I'd be like, dang, that's what you look like. That stuff. Bro, that's very tough. <laughs> yeah. But hey. if somebody be like, really? That's what you like. That shit kind of like, <laughs> hurt. <laughs> that shit kind of sting. But that was fine. <laughs> Hey, bro. Hey, man. But what what else I got to talk about today? Oh, you know, I was ta- I think I was talking when we was talking about the the superpowers and shit and protecting the world. You know, they started um like meteor defense, huh? Like they they use the they use like a um they had like a little shuttle go up and like hit like a, a space rock to see like how it would work just in case like some shit would come, like come. And and how did us. how did that turn out? I guess it worked, but like it, they had a camera on the thing, so you just went and just went black. So I'm like. Like what's the like nigga? I, I so if they so is the meteors are they gonna spread out throughout space or are they once they break the, the it rock, just I think it's it, going to fall down. I think it's gonna fall down, but it's gonna be little. But it wasn't like it was coming towards it was just like part of like the asteroid belt. It was just it wasn't in the gravity. I feel like if you if a meteor is coming down and you just break it, it's just gonna break into pieces instead of being one big ass. How rock. I think how they wanna do it is like say it's a big ass one. They wanna break it to where like it splits up. I seen it in the movies, it splits up and it goes around like this. Mm. Oh, before it can hit Earth. Yeah, before it can hit Earth, it just oh, splits up and it goes like this, okay, like okay, around, okay, okay, like okay, the okay. the the gravity just like. I'd be like, thinking like catapults they're it. breaking it once it hits the atmosphere, not breaking. Nah, it. Nah, if it hits the atmosphere, it's done up. It's, it's just raining hell, yeah. bro. <laughs> damn, it's, it's a, like damn, that's man. ass, that's <laughs> ass, bro. Damn, but it got me thinking about that stuff, right? Because I was talking, I was thinking about this the other day. So it's like, like, do you think, do you think we'll ever like witness or know about aliens in our lifetime, or do you think it'll be? Like path will be long gone. I feel before. like there's stuff now that's kind of hinting at uh, at aliens and shit like that. So, I, yo, but in our lifetime, will it be clear cut? Yeah, I don't know. You don't think so? Because oh, some shit could pop up tomorrow. That's what I'm so saying. So that's why I don't. I don't know. Like you know, one of the um the NASA space. I forgot what program it is. It's like Ni something. They changed their logo and it has like a little like UFO underneath it. 
But like that doesn't mean it could be from aliens. It could be like we are starting to make shit like that. We could make UFOs ourselves. Yeah, like I think there's actually like video proof of us like like learning how to like make it. It was like in the forties. I'm saying like um, I wouldn't be surprised, bro. Like I like I say this all the time. All the shit that we have now, like computers, I feel like they made it mad long ago. But they're just they're you gotta test it out first, Mm. so nobody could like do nothing bad with it. And once they clear it clearance, then they set it out. And it's like um, but it's like so say. If aliens were to come, which alien do you think it would be? Like from the movies that we watched that we learned about? Um, I think it would be like the movie Bright. Like um oh, like when we was like discriminating against yeah. them? Yeah. I think okay, I think, that's not bad. I feel like that was the best perception of like how we will live with them. How we will live with them. I think that's because people too. don't like Things that's that- weird. People don't like change and difference and weird shit. So mm-hmm. I think I think I think we would be just like that, like like get your alien ass on, boy. <laughs> like, ooh, but you blew his shit. Like, I feel like like he's a like he's they'll, a they'll get racist yeah, to it. It'll like, get racist cr- to it. It's like, bro, you really blew. Like, like, <laughs> I, feel like, like I feel like I feel like he's a jail off. I think uh, that's that's a good one. I wasn't yeah. thinking about that. I was thinking about like, like just like imagine it's like those aliens that like from uh what's that movie called? Um, The Quiet Place. The like, quiet imagine place. them shits nah, came down. That would be. T- Bro, I would give up, my nigga. I don't think we'll survive that shit, bro. Niggas is not surviving. There's no way. I think they're just gonna take over the world. You can't do nothing, bro. You literally can't speak, talk, walk. Like them niggas just gonna kill, kill everything. Yeah, I'm like, bro, you got it, bro. Like if that came down, if like the predator came down, I think if five predators, if there was like six, seven predators, one predator they could take out a country. I think. You think one predator could take out a country? Yeah, I think one predator take out. I think I think the the military could take out one predator because that motherfucker was stealthy, by the guy. Yeah, that's true. He was literally an assassin, like from space. Dang. I think if it was that one though, no, I think they could take out one. Bro. You think so? One, I think they could take out. I don't know, man. Five, we lost. <laughs> like the five, world in they general. They just drop one in each continent, like, different continents and shit. So yeah. Oh, that'd be so bad, bro. Like that'd be so bad. And it's like I feel like if we had them little gray people, I feel like that those would be like the the first ones, like the little short, little gray. The, you know the common alien looking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, oh, yeah, a little yeah. short little yeah, dude okay, with the black eyes. And yeah, shit. black. I feel like that would be the first common one, no. and then eventually the other ones are gonna start coming. So, I think that an alien they come down, they gonna look very similar to us. Oh, similar to us. Yeah. I think that's a good one too. I feel like that. I think they look very like I. I feel like bright. Literally, whoever wrote that shit. Know something that we don't. I feel like there's there's one there's there's like a couple of aliens that walk amongst us just to like study us. So when the time comes, they know what to do. They do, yeah. So like they bring back information to their freaking people. I don't know. Bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't I'm know. Not, bro. I always tell people I'm not from this planet. Cause like, cause like I remember I was I was watching a video. They said aliens only started coming after we dropped the bomb. Like that's mm-hmm. when alien UFO signs started coming up because. They said once we dropped the bomb, they was like, "Wait, hold on." They got weapons like this, mm. and now they're watching us to like make sure we don't do nothing like this again. Because they realize like, "Yo, these they dropped two of these bombs. Like, if they keep going back and forth, they're gonna destroy the whole planet." Mm. So they're basically just like when you see UFOs, they're just watching over us, make sure we don't do nothing stupid. So they probably have people like in the system that's like controlling us from like not doing shit like that. Either they're in the system, or we look up to them as like for like advice on like what to do. And shit like that. Cause just imagine if, bro, to, so, bro, the the Japanese wasn't gonna stop. Mm. So we literally had to be like, yo, like you know when a kid don't stop, you gotta really like like rock him. Mm, yeah. We did that twice, and we could they could have just kept going back and forth, back and forth, and we would all been done. Mm. Like just imagine they still have stains of people on the benches. Yeah. So it's like, I feel like they seen that and it was like, yo, these people either gonna destroy themselves or gonna destroy. They're gonna figure out how to like take that, over the universe. That'll, that'll be the reason why the end of the world is. People from like humans are going to destroy each other mm-hmm. before anything, before any alien, before any meteoroid. Humans will destroy each other. That's what I'm saying. But that that's why I guess that if they, were, I think that you know, the aliens come by, they're just trying to make sure we don't destroy ourselves. Mm-hmm. They, I don't mm-hmm. think they're here to like take over unless another one comes through. Because they they be talking about like I think how the galaxy works. You ever watch Jimmy Neutron? You remember there was an episode where. It's like if you keep going into something, it's like another world. So it's like you go smaller, 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 smaller. It's like you go into a world. Mm-hmm. It's like there's a world on top of this. There's a world oh, on top okay. of this. Yeah, like layers of different. Worlds. Yeah, layers of different worlds. So like when we go out there, it's like we go into like a we're on top. We're living on top of like a like you know how in um uh the Grinch they was living on like a snowflake. Mm-hmm. That whole world is like that. 
like there's a world I used to think that when I was a kid mm. like I used to like in grass I used to think there was like a world living on top of like which is very tough that'd be crazy that's very tough like just imagine like I feel like that's how dimensions work too mm. it's like it just goes smaller smaller or like bigger bigger like it's, if you keep going out you're just gonna like end up going out and somewhere you telling me you wouldn't want to be a dictator of one of them worlds bro <laughs> On like a, what a leaf, like on a leaf, like <laughs> a leaf world, bro. Uh, that don't sound too bad. It don't sound bad at all, bro. Hey, oh, bro, just ruling <laughs> the world. This just sounds amazing, bro. <laughs> Nigga said it sounds amazing. It just sounds so fun, like not fun, but like I can do what I want, say what I want, control what I want. I just happen to be a good person, like <laughs> niggas just lucky. I'm I'm a nice guy, but hey, bro. All right, I got I got another question, so. So since we're talking about worlds, right? So would you rather live in a world where a creature comes and kidnaps people every week? So it's so say it's a, a singular town. Mm-hmm. So you live in that town. So every week a creature comes and steals a person and tortures them. Or would you rather live in a world where there's giant humans and they eat anything they see? Am I a giant human? No, you're just an, you're just you. I am a <laughs> giant human. But, uh, dang. <laughs> I take I take the creature, uh, take the creature right, because yeah. the I can't defend myself from the giant. What is a giant to you? Um, like you ever watch Attack on Titans? Oh, basically shit. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to really defend yourself from that. Exactly. So, oh, so we're living like Attack on Titan, basically similar. Oh, I kill them things. I mean, I heard they that he was killing somebody. Yeah, they kill a couple of them. Yeah, you can kill them, but um. I think, I think it's if, hard to hide from them. Yeah, everybody just knock your house over and that's look what I'm in saying. the house. And that's why I think I'll pick the creature because I feel like you can hunt that creature down if it's just one creature. If it's a bunch of humans walking around trying to eat you, mm. like you can't walk walk out your house and be like normal. At least if the creature comes, it's like dang, you just gotta be worried. You can still do your due diligence, mm-hmm. but you just gotta be careful once a week. Once a week, I'll be happy. I'm not happy, but like somebody get caught that one week, like damn, got Wait, one. I'm me, good. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time. Can you defend yourself from the creature? Yeah, you can defend. You oh, can defend yourself from both, but you don't know what no, type of creature. I'll, it could I'll be some big creature. motherfucker. I'll take the creature. All right, that's a, that's. A, I'll that's take the creature because that's only one time where I got worried about him. Eventually, somebody's gonna find the remedy of how to stop the creature from taking you that week. Like, yeah, so niggas gonna already know. So I'm that's tough. Creature, that's yeah. tough. You think yeah. you think there's any creatures that's from like movies that could be real? Um, or not could be real now, but were real at one point. Probably like like the dinosaurs that are in movies and shit. Like the hybrid dinosaurs that are in movies, like or hybrid animals. Like they'll like make something like a like a demon dog or something like oh, that. Oh, shit like that. Like I feel like those are real. I think I think dragons were real at one point. Oh yeah, I'm jacking that too. Because like they you, have to be. Because like imagine in every civilized every civilization. I don't know about fire in their mouth. I, I don't know about that either. But I but, think there were some sort of dragon. Like a T-Rex is something like a dragon. Like yeah. you look at a T-Rex and you look at what people call dragons. Cuz it just don't fly. Yeah, exactly. But it's like like in every like like from from Africa to Asia to Europe, they have pictures of people fighting dragons. Mm. And it's like why do these people that are so far away from each other like talk about dragons? dragons word. The Great Wall of China. Why the hell they build a big ass wall that big? Bro. So, like, why? I just, I just remember something, right? So it was I was looking at something on on TikTok, yeah, and they were saying that the Grand Canyon mm-hmm. leads to Africa. I seen that too. So I'm like, wait, I wait, seen wait, that wait, too. Wait, 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 wait. I was gonna talk about that too. I was like, yo, it, yo, but it fucked me up, bro. Because <laughs> I'm like, to my, I, I start going to my phone. I'm like, where is the Grand Canyon? It's in our Arizona. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like, yo, where is the Grand? <laughs> I started looking at videos. Somebody, please tell me how. Somebody tell me how to. All right, let me let me tell you what they believe. Right, Mm -hmm. so they believe it goes from the they. So the whole thing is that they're lying to us about how the world looks. Already, I'm about to get into about to get into that too. So that that's they say the whole world is not how it looks. So basically, they found hieroglyphics, Egyptian hieroglyphics in the Grand Canyon, and they was like. How the fuck did Egyptians that was in Egypt get to the, to the Grand Canyon on the north north the whatever unless they was traveling over but nobody knows and they say you can't fly over the Grand Canyon like that's an, it's a no fly zone 
and you can't travel to certain places. You can go like by you can't go in the Grand Canyon. You can go around it though, but you can't go like like in it. Like, there's a certain spot where you can't walk through, mm. and they think that there's they they said archaeologists found certain like ruins in there that have like caves that could fit like fifty thousand people in like huge caves like in the Grand Canyon, mm. and they think that. If you keep going through the Grand Canyon, that you're gonna reach Africa because they were lying to us this whole time about how the world actually looks. I think so as well too. Oh, like on oh, my fault. Yeah, sure. So even right, how the map, map stuff and the size of certain things, like yeah. how they make Africa look. Like Africa is a lot bigger. Oh yeah, it's way bigger. It's way bigger than the map. Do you makes know how many look. countries are in that shit? In that shit, exactly. So even so, like. They'll make they'll put a country at like like my country like Liberia they'll put it and it looks very small on the map, mm-hmm. but in reality, it's a big ass country like it's I think, really is big. It, is it the big one of the biggest continents? I think it's the biggest. Africa is I think it is the biggest. Is it that? Like right? You could fit the entire United States and like in a, one section. Of it's Africa. like one third of Africa. One, one third of Africa. So it's like yo, and it's and like even, even even with like. Like Haiti, I don't believe Haiti is as small as they make it look. Like, you, you know, think it's way bigger. I think it's way bigger. There's too many Haitians <laughs> in this world. <laughs> I don't believe it because it, it's starting to look like there's more Haitians in America than there is in Haiti. Like <laughs> I don't, I believe Haiti is way bigger than how they. Like you think they, they take over more part of like. Like you think they t- like you know how they say it's half Haiti, half Dominican Republic. You think they take over more the Dep- Dominican Republic side. Or you think it's just no, the whole I think island both is the, bigger? I think both of those those countries. Because there is a lot of Dominicans there's too. A lot of Dominicans. But like, what if it's just like where we go, live? At? If you go to different places, right? It don't matter what country, what town, what state. Mm-hmm. Not what country, what state you go in America. There are going to be Haitians and they're going to be Dominicans. There is. I ain't gonna lie. Like, there's like no there's... matter what state. Like it, uh, if you look at like, like uh. Like a country like Nigeria, you understand it's a bit, it's a pretty big country. Mm-hmm. So you understand why there's so many. But then they'll show like these smaller looking countries. And you're like, damn, wait a minute. There's a or lot these of islands. There's a lot of islands there. <laughs> like, what's going like? Why, why do I know? Because so like, you can understand when people from China, because China's yeah, huge. China's huge, yeah. Like, you feel me? Where you have like a Chinatown. Yeah. But then like, you, there's a couple of states in America. They got little Hades. Little Hades. Like, <laughs> so I'm like, yo. They, there's some they not showing us. Like, there's a lot of countries, even though those are like countries I'm naming where people like slaves were brought yeah. into into Haiti, but it's still they're not. The country's a lot bigger than what they showing us. Like, I think I think I told I saw I was talking first. They said the world's a lot bigger than we think it is. Even even so, that ocean, bro. Like, just imagine. There's a point in the ocean, like the the most the there's a one island that's like the furthest away from everything. It's like, like they say I forgot what it's called. It's like I think it's like point something point zero and it's like that island is closest closer to the space stations than it is to any point in land that's tough like just imagine you stay like like i think the closest piece of land is like japan that's just like two thousand miles away but like the space station is probably like like 600 700 miles away up so it's like that's the the furthest part from anything and nobody knows like what's there i think it's like i don't even know what it is i think that's where they test like nukes or some shit Mm. So it's like a piece of land, like a little piece of land. It's on the map. Like if you look on the map, you know that one big section of the Pacific Ocean is like right there, like in the middle of that shit, bro. Even to be able to test a nuke, some, I'm telling you, bro, some, some is not right, bro. I don't know, man. They was talking about like Antarctica is really not a one continent, but it's like around us. Because you know, like Antarctica, you can't like go to Antarctica, like physically, unless you have permission. And that's the only continent that... Every everybody in the world, like most countries in the world, signed a treaty not to like do, not to colonize, not to put cities there. Mm-hmm. But it's like we can we can agree on not going to Antarctica, but we we can't agree on the simplest things like sharing oil or sharing ports. But Word. you tell me we can they're convincing that and they're saying where like our all the countries Word. in this one little area right here, right? And Antarctica is really a big ice wall, and over that ice wall is like a bunch of other little lands around the world, mm. like uh, like more land. That's, they say that's where the aliens come from. It could be just like the Grand Canyon. It could be like a, a entrance to something else. That's why, I, bro. Country. Just imagine if you walk through and you see lions. Mm. Nah, they gonna know if they if a lion if they see a lion in the Grand Canyon. Word. They ain't never lie, bro. Word. If you see a lion Word, in the Grand but Canyon. That's what, 
But once I was, it was a, it was a black dude, uh, like explaining it. Like, oh yeah, I see. Was, it. I know you're talking. Like, he was tweaking. Yeah, no, he's kind of. I, <laughs> I know you're talking. He about. was tweaking. I'm like, I'm listening. to him. I'm like, wait a minute. You can watch YouTube videos on it. They talking about it. I'm like, bro, why isn't this not a bigger thing? Because they don't want us. To, hey, I why isn't everybody talking about this? Because <laughs> it's like the little conspiracy things. It's like they don't want to stir up the public to make them actually think. Like, like remember turn that shit up. Somebody go through it. Like, <laughs> to go through there. Real yeah, quick, go just through. Explore. Run through there. Like. Like they I didn't, can't. I didn't know you could. I thought you could go through the Grand Canyon. Like can't I thought it was like a tourist thing. tour. Nah, you can't go through the, the whole thing. Cause I think it's like two hundred miles long, but like or two seventy, two seventy five like miles. But long. they tried to say some shit like it's layers or something happened and moved to some bullshit, bro. I don't know, bro. So that's a hey, people. I don't know what's going on in the world, but that shit scares you keep me. Walk, like even the uh, what's that shit in the water? What? Where it's like if you go the um. You'll, you'll land somewhere else or if a plane goes missing there. Oh, Bermuda Triangle? Bermuda Triangle. What the fuck is that, my nigga? I don't know. It creeps me out. <laughs> but you know there's a bunch of those triangles like all over the world? Oh, well, that's, bro, I'm not. I'm there's, not. there's one in Alaska. There's one in the Bermuda. There's one like by Asia. Same shit happened. They think it's just like little... People think it's it's like fake, but people think it's also like little wormholes based on like the magnetic, like different magnetic poles and shit just mm-hmm. creates a little wormhole that sends you to the, through the dimensions. I, w- I don't even know if it w- I, w- I would say like dimensions, but other parts of the earth. Oh, dimension. yeah, like a. Oh. Like I, you could be in Bermuda and then land in fucking Brazil. Mm. <laughs> like, like, type <laughs> shit. Like, like, I don't know, bro. Like, it's it's weird. Like, like how they t- explain shit like that. Like, like, like with the, um, with the, um, the dragon shit. Like, I want to, let me, like, finish what I was talking about with that. So, like, with the dragon things, bro, they believe that. Drag so they think dragons are built like birds because, like, birds when they die, it's hard to fossilize a bird mm-hmm. because their, their bones are so frail, so it's like they decompose like yeah, yeah, quicker. Yeah. So, they think like some dinosaurs were actually had wings and were actually dragons, but their bones just like their wings just decompose. Yeah, there are uh, dinosaurs with wings, though, yeah, like sure pterodactyls, yeah, but they're yeah. talking about straight dragon dragons, like lizards that fly with that could walk and fly. I'm jacking that. I'm I, jacking I think that I believe because there's no way in this world that every, these all these civilizations, all these people, fight, talk about fighting and killing dragons. Be right, coming from like animals that shouldn't have made it. Not shouldn't have made it, but in the same family, like oh, dinosaurs yeah, yeah. in the same family that made it. Like you know how you can have like a horse and a zebra mate. Yeah, some shit like that, and oh, it can like, make that, like a dragon, like, like a dragon, and could have been a, a mating from. Two different kinds of dinosaurs. I think yeah. that was supposed to happen. Like I think like a donkey and horses could make like different like yeah. in the same family, but they're not the same thing. I think so too. Like I think like I think definitely whoever made that Great Wall of China was trying to keep something out. That shit, yo, that shit's thirteen thousand miles. There's no yeah, way something, bro. They trying to keep something. Like, out. I ain't gonna lie. One night I was just up on <laughs> YouTube just looking at different variations of animals that are that can mate outside of their like yeah, their bro. family or their. And like different kind of dogs that can mate with like wolves and shit like that. Yeah, I, I never, I never realized and like cats and like, shit like like that, some yeah. some animals like if you have a, as pets you can't keep them like you can't have two male hamsters or they're gonna kill each other. Yeah, I never knew that. Yeah, or two male fishes too. That I didn't know. Like two goldfishes, they're gonna like fight each other. That, that kind of explains why one of my goldfish died. <laughs> oh, you had two boys. I had two boy uh-huh. two go- boy goldfish. They I, one of them ended up dying in like three months. I don't know how. I woke up, he was just floating on the top. <laughs> Oh shit! I, I was mean, like, dang! I, I didn't know that. They fought the death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was sleeping. I did not know that. Yeah, but that's what he was. Ta- that's what he was talking about at work. The uh, work, uh, work today. This shit was crazy, bro. I did not know that. Like the world we live in is kind of scary, bro. Oh, word! What the fuck? But, like, oh, so I got I got another would you rather question. Since we were talk- talking about animals, would you rather be attacked by 150 rats or one polar bear, and you get to choose a non firearm weapon? So no flamethrower, no chainsaw, no gun. <laughs> and a People, polar bear? A polar bear or 150 rats? I, can't, I don't like rats, bro. I don't like rats. I might take the polar bear, but that but polar bear same is time, big. You know what I do with the dual wheel sword, so I'm not too, too worried about the polar bear. But uh, nah, I'm worried about the polar bears are the worst. They they just eat meat. Just imagine they live on ice. They can't eat grass. They can't. Eat where nothing. am I fighting the polar bear? You find them. Say you're in the zoo. You find him in his enclosure in the zoo, like it's like a show. <laughs> so I could I could turn off like the, the cold. The cold. I mean, I don't think it's really that cold. It's probably like the, nah, the water probably if cold. I could turn off the cold and make it hot. 
You gonna why? What is with you? Did you say this before? You gonna what? heat up the the, 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 the Chi Chi said this? Like, that don't mean nothing. <laughs> you can, like y'all really already didn't, know, bro. Like like y'all can't just heat up a. Uh, it's not gonna make him stop if you get hot. <laughs> yes, it is. You gonna get tired. What? How you know? Because it's how polar bears work. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm Ooh. not fighting rats though. I, I, I one are they climbing on me? Yes, bro. They attacking you. Like, just imagine rats just climbing, just biting you. I was watching the Suicide Squad the other day. Remember that one girl that controlled the rats? Oh, I would die, bro. Like, I just like, lie, she, bro. oh, my God. that. Oh, I can't, I bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I had. Uh, that's, a, that's a tough superpower. I ain't my, gonna lie. My aunties, when they used to live in uh, Jersey. Yeah. When I used to go to their house, they had, like, like mice and shit. Mm-hmm. And when I tell you, I seen one, like, run past me. I was a kid. I almost died, bro. <laughs> almost died. Literally. <laughs> but they had a dog. And the dog just. Seeing that nigga just, he ate him, ate or him. Just, wow! Like he didn't eat him, but he just chewed him till he died. Oh, <laughs> like he's just like <laughs> playing like a chew toy, like a chew toy. Yeah. Oh shit! But like rats is bad, bro. Like well, one, if they work together, hundred and fifty of them though. Yeah, like big rats, fat rats. What's we'll say like this big? Nah, nah. So that's kind of that's kind of <laughs> that's a big like. Are they they on attack mode? Like they on timing or no? Yeah, like they 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 rushing. They trying to break this door down right now. Yo, that's really nasty. That's, a, like, that's, <laughs> that's I feel gross. like I'm gonna be afraid of the polar bear, but I'm gonna be disgusted by the rat. I just can't have them all climbing on top of me because they used to use that as like torture. They used to put, <laughs> bro, like they used to put, like you no, know the, the the black plague, bro. Yes, bro, the rats. I had a plague. Bro, they used to, bro, they used to put like so they would put they would tie you up and lay you down right in medieval times. They'll put like two rats on your stomach and put a bucket on top. They'll heat the bucket up. And the rats will get really hot and they start digging in your stomach because they're trying to get away from the heat. Yes, bro. And they'll start just eating eating you from the inside out, just trying to get away from the heat, just burrowing through your body. I think I did see that before or hear that before. I, I think I learned that, that in school. It was, yo, it's disgusting. Actually, Who thinks of shit like that? Nigga, that shit is genius, actually. <laughs> that's like a good lie. interrogation like, tactic. Like, that is really good, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, that's a bro. slow death, like. Oh, my God, bro. Dying slow is the worst. Like, nigga, just, just do that shit, bro. Oh. You got to die slow and suffer and you just yelling. Oh, fuck that, bro. That's I'm I'm finding the polar bear. I'm finding that I'm polar bear. I'm going to fight the polar bear, bro, because it's... I, like I said, bro, you make it hot in there, man. This nigga you thinks he's gonna hot. melt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, bro! We got we went to the zoo. You, oh wait, was there a polar bear? There wasn't a polar bear. It was right. It was we right went there. on a midday. It was too hot, yeah, and the animals was, weren't was, even doing it was shit. Fucking sleeping shit. I was like, what the hell was that? That was but, ass. Nah. I mean, we was all talking about like whether we could beat these animals and shit. Like, that's the whole the whole time we walking through, like just walking. Like past. we seen a hippo, and he's like, "Nah, you're not beating the hippo." I'm like, bro, because the hippo was on a hill. I'm like, bro, I think I could like get right. No way, that on thing the hill, was bro. What's that going to do? I, I, I was on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he might cheat on trick, bro. No oh, hell, no, bro. But you know how many times I seen a, a dog? Like a dog who's a lot more like agile, agile than a hippo. I cross the dog up, the dog falls. <laughs> so I know the hippo's going down. I don't know what this guy talking about. Yo, hippo I know going the down. hippo's going. The hippo charged at me. I said, whoa, whoa. "You gonna hit him with the move?" With the whoa, nigga is this man think he gonna AI cross over that nigga? <laughs> yeah, huh, 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 huh. Hey, that hippo going down, boy. I don't know what this man talking about, bro. <laughs> this nigga is on some shit, bro. He said I'm an AI cross over a I'm hippo. What I'm telling you, he's going down, bro. Nigga, with all the shit we talking about, we should open up a circus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just to see. I'm telling you, I want to. I'm testing every every animal. <laughs> no, bro. Fuck that, bro. But do I got anything? I got I got one last thing to talk about. Cause this this one kid been asked. I don't know what his name is. Shout out to you if you watching this. I have there was, I do urban legends, so if you comment your state down below if you want new urban legends. So we're gonna do New York, right? Oh, I shout out the city, man. So and so the urban legend from New York, it was called it was a serial killer. So ba- remember when we was talking about how you could tell a kid anything and they'll be scared about it? Mm-hmm. So basically this was the story about the guy it was it was like basically in Staten Island, it was a boogeyman that parents would tell their kids. It was called I think it was called Cropsy. And it was a so the story was that it was a serial killer that was that was on the loose in Staten Island, and they would kidnap kids and torture them. And he had a hook, and he was basically an escaped um, mental patient from a psych ward. Mm-hmm. And he would live in like abandoned like um, institution in the woods, and he would take kids 
and like in the middle of the night to bring them back and torture them. And it was basically a story made up by the parents to keep their kids from going outside, like past curfew. Like, yo, if you go on the crops, he's going to come get you if you pass like nighttime. But then I think it was like in the 70s or 80s, it was actually like coming true. Like kids were starting to get kidnapped. Mm. I think he, there was a guy, I forgot, his name was, um, what was the nigga name? His name was Andre Ran, and he would he worked at an institution, and he was a serial killer. So he would he would um, abduct kids and kill them. But they think he I think he killed like five kids, and they think when they arrest him, he's in prison right now for life. But they think that he was like a satanist, and he was like sacrificing these kids in the woods. So like the whole thing, the whole story that the parents made up actually came true. Mm. Like the whole boogeyman, oh you gotta stay up, was taking kids. Though, yeah, what be wrong with people though, like, bro? How you be that fucking? Bro, sick? I learned that psy- like psychopaths mm-hmm. is really common, but like, mm-hmm. all right, so I learned this from. Do- I, I just learned the difference between a psychopath and a sociopath like, yeah. literally yesterday. Wait, what's a? I don't. I don't really know the difference. So like, like oh, shit. it's like when someone is like kind of like two faced, right? Yeah. Like say they could pull up to to your job and be normal. Yeah. Oh, but and the they, whole time they really don't. They really not normal. Like the whole time they really have Problems? dead bodies oh, in their home. That's what a sociopath. That's what they're a sociopath. Okay, I, I, I look you forgot. <laughs> Nigga did ass. <laughs> but like they can like pull up and be talking to you every day like it's normal. Mm-hmm. Probably pull up hoop with you, but when they go back to their home, they have dead bodies in the basement. They're luring people to their home like something yeah. like uh like a Jeffrey Dahmer kind of thing. Yeah. Like, I was I was about to, no I think he's a that might be psychopath psychopath then. yeah or no no I think okay I think psych he might be both mm. because so what I learned from like what psychopath I think psychopath is like having no empathy towards anything oh yeah, yeah so like yeah, you could yeah, kill yeah, by yeah. him like I'll and not fuck. feel no way no word, feel word, no word, like word, you got word, no emotion word, so that's what Jeffrey Dahmer was word. I guess wait hold on why are you saying like that what <laughs> what you mean bro oh no look like oh my fault <laughs> look like back oh. turn oh my fault oh <laughs> I'm back turned to the camera I'm, I'm I forgot we was on a podcast, <laughs> but oh, shit. so like I was. Did you watch the Jeffrey Dahmer show? Uh, did you start nah, that it? was really crazy. Like I forgot we was on a podcast. I just sitting <laughs> talking to you. Uh, I didn't watch it yet. It's, uh, I, everybody keeps telling me, bro. It's just nigga just mook, bro. It's just mook, <laughs> bro. That's what everybody keeps saying. Bro. I'm like, all right, still. I'm like, as long as they not showing no in depth. Nah, it's not. I mean, we uh, watch, I watched like two episodes. Nah, it's not like. Well, they not showing no in depth sex scenes. I'm into them. I don't give yeah. fuck that nigga. It's not too yeah. bad. He's basically um what Ted Bundy was, but. Gay. Gay. Word. Same thing. Yeah, as long as he's not like they not showing the nigga beating the nigga from the back pause. <laughs> I, I I could watch it. Nah, it's not like that. But I was watching that the uh we and Jay started watching this. So it made me so I was watching a podcast about with Joe Rogan and he was saying that so with sociopaths or psychopaths that it psychopaths are in our society today. Like it's very common, but people really don't know that they're a psychopath. They just think it's normal. Mm-hmm. But it's like what makes a psychopath a serial killer is when you do the crime. Mm-hmm. So basically a professor... Yeah, you can think it. Yeah. yeah. So like a professor was doing a test, right? On like he took like... um He did like a sample size. Like he had a sample group of kids. He's trying to see who's a psychopath. Like trying to test. He had a psychopath and he asked him questions and things like how he felt. And he had like a baseline of what you think a psychopath like their... Like her either genetic or DNA makeup would be and how it would be like because like sometimes it's like um, it's hereditary thing. like mental thing yeah. so he had that and he was trying to see like through a target group like who like he's gonna make an experiment like who it was so he was doing it and he found one so he's looking through it and it ended up being him that was the psychopath but the whole time like he, he think he's a normal guy he has wife kids but then he had they asked his his family like oh how's your dad well he was like well he don't really like say I love you that much or he really don't show us that too much emotion but he still we know he loves us sometimes he might get a little mad at mom but he don't really like like they say you don't really smile too much shit type shit like that so it's like like a psychopath is really someone oh shit let me move this shit back real quick is someone who really what's the word so a serial killer, you're not. You could be a psychopath, but not a serial killer, unless you do the crime. That's when you're considered a serial killer and low key a psychopath, because like you like shit. I could be one. I'd be like I'd be talking to myself a lot. Like I got I got I look got voice in my head. But they said if you don't got voice in your head, you're not successful. You're not successful, or you no. won't be. If, I mean, of course, if <sighs> by dictionary, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> I might be one. That's what I'm saying. I, nah, I, I know. 
I got like five personalities. <laughs> so I'm not, if they document me as one of them, I wouldn't be surprised. But I know I'm not no like serial killer. But yeah. I think I'm a, I like, think I'm a unless, psychopath. But if you like go to that, there's like levels. So if you mm. go to that level of like, yo, I'm about to commit a crime, then 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 you're really a psychopath. Yeah. But you could have, I guess mixed personality is different. Yeah, it's mixed because personality. Because you could have the, the crazy people that have one personality that's a killer mm-hmm. and then one personality that's like a people person. Yeah, that's like, like multiple personalities. So. Yeah, like <laughs> that shit is that shit scary for real. For hey, me. people, test your mentals out, test bro. Your mentals, word. Mental, mental, mental health, health is a is a real mental thing, bro. Word. But you got anything you want to say, bro? I'm trying to play some 2K, bro. Uh, <laughs> it's one o'clock bro, right I'm now. Well, I'm with the 2K though. 2K I'm tonight, with the 2K, bro. bro. I bet. I don't got work tomorrow. It's lit, bro. Yeah. I'm but, about to go quick check though. Oh, you gonna get I some eats? Some eats. Right. I'm mad hungry. So just let me know when you get on the game. But thank you again for pulling up for another episode, my brother. You already know. Great pods, great pods. But. I forgot to do this in the beginning of the podcast. Shout out to our sponsor, um, Natural Sheila G. If you need something, we were just talking about your mental people. If you need something for your mental, this is for you. It helps detox minerals, helps you stay focused throughout the day, helps with anxiety, helps you with your testosterone. My fellas, my old fellas. Mm-hmm. You want to, you want to, hey, right. bro, this is your, this your chance. Wait, about, man. You should just call right here, man. What flavor is this? It's honey, bro. This is that raw honey, my brothers oh, you and sisters. Oh, you got to move on a little bit. <laughs> you said what? You got to move on a little bit. Oh, my fault, so my fault. So you can see. Like to your, yeah. Uh, there you go. This is that raw honey, my brothers and sisters. <laughs> go and get it right tonight. All right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gangster, you know what I'm saying? But follow. <laughs> Use code no regulars. Code no regulars in the description if you need some stuff like this. I'll be taking this every morning, once in a while. You know, it helps me focus, helps you give energy throughout the day, shit like that. So cop some. No code no regulars helping. You know, helping the people out. If you want good podcasts every day, bro, go copy some of these, bro. If you do shit I do, go cop some of this shit, bro. But. Follow us on all the social down below. All the links gonna be down below. My brother's link gonna be down below. Join the Discord. New collection coming soon. I don't know if you peeped. Oh, I don't know if you peeped. The new collection is coming soon. All that shit. Um, anything else? Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. All that shit. And yeah, you got anything else you want to say, my brother? Nah, we blessed, man. Stay blessed. Stay up. Stay right, up, fellas. We, go, we different. They regular, no regular, man. Gangsta. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it.